I'm using the internal mic low light test number one all settings at auto 30 frames per second wide screen wide screen not ultra wide wide screen if you can read those uh, uh, signs YouTube Yasash TV there's a one large font a really really big sign then there's a smaller then there's even more smaller and the smallest on the left hand side it's a very very low light typical low light environment normally in the restaurants and uh, normally outside or indoors this is the normal light we most of the time encounter test number two wide screen 30 frame per second uh, auto exposure ISO 400 ISO 400 only difference is it's not auto ISO the ISO is at 400 same lighting everything same test number three everything same as before 30 frame per second and ISO 800 the difference is ISO 800 if you can read the signs from large to small YouTube Yasash TV how grainy it is all settings same except ISO 16,000 sorry 1600 ISO 1600 everything else auto wide screen mode 5.7 30 frame per second same lighting everything same everything auto wide mode 30 frame per second except ISO 3200 Okay, now ISO 800 and shutter 130th of the second, 1 slash 30, shutter speed 1 slash 30, 130th of the second, ISO 800. Same lighting, if you can read out the signs from small to large, how grainy it is same camera position same lighting white balance 4000 kelvin shutter speed 1 30th of second 1 slash 30 iso 800 wide mode 30 frame per second how clear the signs are how good you can read from small to large font size okay this one is ISO 800 white balance 4000 Kelvin shutter speed 1 40th of the second shutter speed is different noticeable thing is shutter speed it's now 1 slash 40 not 1 slash 30 and exposure is neutral same as before all the clips had same zero exposure neutral wide mode 30 frame per second 
how good you can read the signs. ISO is different now. Everything same as before. ISO is 1600. White balance 4000 Kelvin. Shutter speed 1 40th of the second. 1 slash 40. And exposure same neutral 0. Same lighting. Okay, one last time again, everything auto, everything auto, same lighting, same camera position, everything auto, wide mode, K video, 30 frame per second, exposure, same neutral, everything is else auto, low light test, Low light test, a different lighting. It's really, really dark. It is dark indeed. Proper indoor lighting. Uh, low light restaurants lighting. Everything auto, wide mode, 30 frames per second. Everything auto. Different kind of low light test, ISO 800, white balance 4000 and shutter speed 1 30th of the second, 1 slash 30, exposure neutral 0, 30 frame per second. How good you can read the signs, how grainy it is. So who is the winner? Who is the winner? In my personal opinion, uh, from this particular test, I think, I think Otto is not bad. Otto did exceptionally good uh, job here. Uh, even though, like, if you look at the footage, Otto is giving a good competition, competition into the uh, test. So for me in my personal opinion you may be different i think auto is winner for me auto on the way because there are two reasons why i'm choosing auto because number one i most of the time record in rush i'm traveling around i'm in a restaurant i'm in a concert i'm in in the tours with the tours i i can't be bothered with changing all the exposure isos since Otto is already so good according to this test like Otto is not bad in a low light situation so I needed to record very fast I most must of the most of the time need to record really really fast and Otto is not that bad so I will be using Otto so for me the winner is Otto I don't know what you guys think you can comment in the uh, video section below and so winner is Otto from this particular test um, and if you want to check more videos about this camera, how good the quality is uh, uh, for this camera, my last three videos, last three videos before this one on this very channel are recorded on uh, same camera, Insta360 One R. So you can check out the video quality and future few months, all the videos, yes, all the videos on this very channel, uh, even after this one will be recorded on insta 361 hour so subscribe if you can so you can see the video quality of this camera how the video comes out on the youtube so yeah stay tuned and see you in the next one bye bye